Make is not bad. The point you're trying to make is you've driven the car three miles and you're worried about something lasting. What's up, guys? Stop. <laughs> Today we are finally doing what I consider to probably be the biggest piece of work that we've had to do to the Z um, thus far. You think? The window was a pretty bad day. Both windows. Both windows were pretty, pretty bad days. Those were not fun days. The window motor was probably <clears throat> that was a long one. So that, I, think, I think that was the most stressful. This will be a lot less. This is going to be pretty straightforward. Yeah. Let's just hope so. So, we got some Brembos off of Nismo. Well, Indy got some Bres, Bre, Bresbos. Bresbos. Brisbos. These are not real Brembos. They're Brisbos. These bro bros. Indy got some Brembos off of a 08, 08. 08 Nismo, Nismo that was crashed from the rear, right? Uh, no, it was hit in the front. It was hit in the front. Yeah. So, uh, he went and picked up these calipers. Clappers. Clappers. Dirty, but we'll clean them. Uh, do you remember how many miles were on that Nismo? Uh, no idea. Not, I mean, Nismos usually don't have a ton of miles, so. It's had somewhere, but like whatever. Yeah. Not I mean, know. this is. It's a little, it's got somewhere. That's not even, yeah, it's just like paint fade. And then I had to buy pieces in order to make sure that these would fit my car. Which are the caliper bolts. Rear for, caliper bolts. For the rear? Yep, yeah, these right. are for the rear because they are larger for the Brembos. Yep, and then we have the stainless steel lines from Z1. Yep. Sports. Along with those caliper bolts. We've got some centric uh, blank rotors. Instead which of slotted. Is, Indy wanted me to get slotted, but I got blanks. I got a really good deal on these. Actually, you I did. Remember. I remember. I remember when you told me yeah. the price you got them for. I was really surprised because they were actually really cheap. Yeah, I, I I jumped on it like right before inflation, which was like that's true. Fantastic. And then we also of also got have... StopTech Street pads. New pads. Yeah. Because like the, these, these pads are, have these life, pads are but we don't know what they don't are. What they are. Just, you, know, you know, it's if not... you're doing this, just throw some new, yeah. throw some new pads, throw some new hardware in. Yeah. You may as well make it nice instead yeah. of just trying to. Exactly right. Uh, we also got some uh, Motul. 5.1. 5.1. The good stuff. Uh, I think I got more than we needed, but uh, That's good, though. we will see. You always want to have more. We didn't go with the RBF 600 because that does tend to accumulate water a little faster, which is why I told you to go with the 5.1. Good to know. I did not know that. Yeah, that's why I told you. Uh, a quick note for you guys. It is 5.1. Normal dot five is a silicone base. This is not that, even though it says 5.1. This is still regular fluid. Got you. So okay. I'm not too fond of dot five silicone fluid. Yeah. So non just to, just to give you guys like kind of a quick uh, ballpark of how much all of this costs, it wouldn't cost this today. No. But Indy got these Brem these calipers for five hundred dollars before which was, COVID. Which was a sick deal. Yeah, it was before COVID. Yeah. Um, I got these lines. I want to say they're like hundred and eight. These bolts were like 20, 25 Seven, bucks, something, something yeah. like that. Um, the fluid I just got recently uh, wasn't a terrible deal. It was like $35 for the four. And then the, um, I want to say the rotors, I paid like four fifty for all four. I think it was less than that. It was like really a dumb deal. I, I was it, like, oh my. I, I think it was like 300 bucks, honestly. I wasn't, I was like not ready to buy them. And, and then, then I saw, saw the deal and I was like, I got to get these. No, I think it was like 300 bucks. It was, something it was something crazy. Really um, I got to go through my too. receipts. Yeah, and I'll, I'll find them and post, post where I found them. Hopefully the deal's still there. But all told, this is somewhere around like, I think we're right around 1050 for everything here. Which like all things considered for a, a pretty, big breakup read. I mean, obviously it came on OEM cars, uh, OEM other 350s, but like there's still four piston calipers in front. There's still two piston calipers in there. It's still Brembo's. It's yeah. not like they're bad. And I mean, this is stainless steel lines, better fluid, better pads, and yeah. pretty good rotors. Nice so new like, rotors. So all things considered, it's pretty good price. Hopefully you guys can find something similar. Yep. Um, but yeah, we're gonna clean these uh, calipers up. Yes, they are quite dirty. And then we're gonna get into this thing. Yeah. And we also have a, um, hub to do on the driver's Driver side yeah. we've already done the passenger side if you haven't seen it uh we'll post a link to that yeah. up here if you guys need to do the hub or maybe i'll do it when we uh but this was another it. detroit axle hub the same one you bought yeah, before was exactly there a price difference from before yes so before i bought the detroit axle hub when we did it the first <clears> time about a year and a half ago it was uh 44 dollars now they're like 57. well 
all things not considered, bad. That's, that's still a really cheap. good deal. But like, fifty-seven bucks for a, a for hub, hub is really cheap. It's really cheap. It's very cheap. So let's get into it. All right. Uh, one more thing to know on these centric rotors and why I told you to get these. They come with the mating surfaces already blacked, oh, along yeah, with yeah. the sides for the veins already nice and black. So they don't rust. They don't rust. They don't look terrible. Uh, you don't have to spend a ton of time painting them black yourself. Yeah. And also, to note, these do come with oil on them because you don't want them rusting and chipping or wherever they're sitting. Mm -hmm. So before you put these on, you want to spray a healthy amount of brake paint and wipe these down. Yeah. But yeah, so nice and black. Hell yeah. Nice and dirty. Very dirty. Now, much, much clean. Yes. So, wow. I'm gonna this keep doing this. This thing's shine. Yeah. Yep. And I'm gonna get the car in the air. Yeah. Okay. And he's got a couple of these calipers. Clean. Looking good. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have gotten, if you guys haven't seen the Z before, Welcome to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. Um, this is the Z that we are working on for the channel. Uh, Mercury GT3 vents in progress. We'll have a video on that soon. Uh, Vordovan Form 18s. I'm going to be swapping these out actually. Um, maybe even today. We will see. Uh, Big Country Labs Wing. Brahm Advent Seats. You can check out all these videos. We've done a lot of videos on it, this stuff. But the part in question. Here we are. We have the stock brakes these were painted blue by the previous owner we did never bother to repaint them because what was the point if we're gonna throw on brumbos i always had them uh we're also gonna be swapping the hub so these lug studs are gonna come off uh one of these guys is a little short and um misthreaded we've already done the hub on the other side so that's gonna be just good we're, we're already here might as well do it type thing um we had just put these pads in have like barely any miles on it but whatever it's fine um, so yeah, these will come off and uh, let's get to work. All right, old wheels are off. Got some new wheels going on today with this as well. We swapped the hub, Detroit axle. With the bang, bang, boom. This guy, old hub right here, came off. We must have replaced this because uh, this one had some really poor quality Loose like studs, yeah. replacement stud in it, and yeah. uh, we already replaced the other side. And so it's, it's rusted, kind of like, super rusted. Well, it's just one of those things where it's like we already replaced the other side. This was cheap enough. Let's just get it done. Yeah, so, fifty-seven bucks. Yeah, this is in and good. Yep. So now we have a couple of the specific things here. This is the conversion brake line for if you have a non-Brembo 350 to putting Brembos on. You have this is going to mount up to the hard line. These guys will mount up in the factory on the strut and on the strut tower locations and then this guy will bolt to the back of the caliper now what we're going to do to test fit everything first is we're going to get the rotor out we're going to clean this up with yep. some brake clean yep we will mount it on here and then we'll line up the brembo and make sure all the clearances are correct you need to make sure of this if you're not you'll end up uh, wearing the pads out prematurely on one side or just having problems in general so everything needs to line up correctly all this stuff should work but test fitting is important yes indeed so, we also pulled the dust shield off while we were swapping the hub because this, one this one's kind of janky. Yeah. The other side is pretty clean. We did clean it when we swapped the hub. But it was also not damaged. But it was also not damaged. So we're going to leave this side on and see what happens. We'll but... see if the rotor hits because it is a bigger rotor. Yeah. So it may hit. And if it does, we'll have to pull that dust shield as well because I don't know if these are specific to uh, all 350s or if the Nismo one had a specific uh, dust shield. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look right now too. Yeah. If so, based on my research, I don't remember them being different, but But we'll find out. you'll never know until you kind of start putting everything together. So it's good to check. Yeah. Testing is very important. Testing is very important. My dumbass 
<laughs> it, you know, it had been so long since we'd ordered these parts. I legit ordered these like six months ago. I think longer than that, honestly. It was a pretty long time. I think it was like September. Yeah, it was like seven months ago. It was like a year ago, ago yeah, almost, I think. It was a long time. But um, testing is important because yeah. we grabbed that one. Yeah. That is a rear, but we didn't know that at the time. Uh, we tried to test fit it, it, it was, and the no. rear was hitting the uh, knuckle here. Yeah. So make sure you test fit. Yeah. Um, it makes sense once you look at it, once you, you realize you're incorrect, because that's the rear drum section yeah, for the e-brake. Yeah, the e-brake is going to work on that. Yeah, but when you're in the moment, and sometimes you're just like, why isn't this working? Do we need spacers? What's going on? Yeah. No. Uh, this is the proper front rotor. Look, no grinding noise. Isn't that nice? Fantastic. So. Uh, we have already sprayed this off with some brake cleaning, just a little schmutz. Yep. A little schmutz. We got that with the pad. Yeah, exactly. So now we're going to go ahead and take our caliper. We're going to line it up. Uh, if I remember correctly, you reuse these guys for the Brembo. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, looks like it. So The rears are going to be different, though. The rears are going to be different. That's the hardware that's in the box. That's these guys. Because they're bigger. I think they're longer. Yeah. It's just that thread because that'll be good. So we're gonna go ahead and line these up and lock them in place, make sure everything fits before I go through the process of popping these pads out to replace them. Uh, for the moment, I'm just going to use them to help me align. Mm -hmm. And if I need to pull them out, I will. So yep. we're gonna go ahead and lock this in. It's literally just two bolts right here. They line up on the back bracket. Uh, for the record, it goes bracket, this, then rotor because this has to feed through the bracket to tighten into this. Just so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this lined up, make sure everything is good here, and then we will work on, I'm hoping we can just disconnect the line from here at this point and leave it attached to the original caliper. So we don't that would be that. really great for the sense of not making a mess. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping. Yeah. You know, um, a quick heads up for you guys. These do use, let's put that down. I got to look in here. These do use what's known as a uh, horseshoe clip. It's right here. In fact, I'll just take this. Thank you. So it's a horseshoe clip right here. Uh, I usually used to use a set of channel locks to bite onto it, wiggle, 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 pull it out. Uh, we're gonna grab a flare nut wrench, loosen this first, and then pull this out, and hopefully everything just comes out without any problems. Grabbing some lug nuts. Just do regular ones. For what I presume will be holding the rotor in place, while we pop the new pads in. You got it. Look at you being a smart boy. I'm getting it. I'm getting it, Dad. <laughs> Hold the flashlight right, <laughs> God damn it. Oh, now we get to see how the lug nuts look with the brakes. That look pretty sick, huh? They do look pretty sick. I'm pretty stoked on it. So, update. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. That. Look at yeah. that! Look at that motion. No, no noise oh, that at looks all. Good. No scrapes. And if you look right in here, you'll see that everything is Very spaced straight. beautifully. Okay, so rotor's on. I got to reclean a couple spots. Whatever, not a big deal. Um, I'm using a couple lug nuts just to hold it straight to make sure again that. Oh look, there's no noise. Yeah, it's fantastic. So we did have to pull the pads. I was going to try to use them to help center, but you know, don't waste your time just pulling them out. Pop those out. I'll show you how to put new ones in, and then you can watch the video in reverse to watch me take them out. Bingo. Which is, uh, we definitely won't have satanic music playing. Will you? <laughs> <laughs> Stairway to heaven and backwards. <laughs> you know, exactly. <laughs> but if you look back here real quick, it is just the factory two bolts on there, holding everything. And uh, yeah, like I said, everything is clearancing real nicely. Turn, it, turn your boats this side, make your life a little easier. Don't smash your head into whatever this stupid yeah. bracket is. I definitely just, yeah. do that. Bring the caliper towards you. Yeah, just make your life a little easier. But uh, right now we are going to push the pistons in this back in. We are going to take our new brake pads, shove them in there, and uh, you'll see that whole process and learn how that goes too. Yes, indeed. Let's do it. Pretty useful tool. Yes, sir. Um, where's the rag? There should be one like right around here. Blue rag, right behind you. Right there. And Is that going to eat through the paint? Do you need me to get some water to wipe it down? Yeah, sure. All right. Sure. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Well, Andy... Oh, what's up? I didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, hey guys. What's up? Oh, what's up, dude? So. Oh, they come with new uh, carter pins. That's cool. Oh, yeah, we're not using any of the old. Good. Junky junk, you know? We're using all new stuff. All new stuff, baby. So. Caliper's bolted on. This is the bolted on. This is going to be for now. So, when putting new pads in, you literally just slip them in from the back. They have the pins go through. Put them in. Now, on these, they have a wear sensor to let you know how low your brakes are. If you hear the noise, replace them. Unless you're lazy, then eventually rub metal to metal. I don't know, live your life. So, on the old pads, they were set up where the wear sensor was poking out the front right here. But you want to get in close, you'll see it right here. Which I think this is actually a good spot for because yeah. you can easily check. Yeah, you can see it. Before, you know what I mean, anything happens, you can see yeah. just by looking through your, your wheel. clearance, yeah. So, we're gonna go ahead, get these in. At the moment, you can see there's some play in them. Don't worry about that. You'll get that going before you put everything back together. But what you have is a spring, which if I remember correctly, should seat this way, which will ride close to the rotor. You have two slide pins. The pointed side will poke through this little hole right here. And you have some cotter pins to hold these guys in place. So you can see that this is literally going to just feed through and they'll end up poking out all the way through, just like that. Yeah, nice. So then we will go ahead and get our little guy in. Nice. Yeah, this way or the other way. I'll take a look at the other side real quick. I think it might be, yeah, it should be that way. Yep. So yeah, you yeah. want to hold this. Sense. Yeah, because it's not running on the road. I don't do too many four piston calipers. It's pretty rare. Yeah, no one, no one has them. And at the rate that I drive, we'll never replace these pads. There you go. So you can see the spring is in place. The spring provides front tension pushing the brake pads forward. Okay? You can see it's pretty easy to do. There you go. And then you're going to take your little cotter pin so that I can't pick up off the ground. Now, do we need to do anti squeal or anything? Or are these we will. Pads? We're going to go ahead and do some on the insides, but this is just to show you guys how this goes Got together. You. I'll pull it, it takes two seconds to yeah. pull apart. It's really not a big deal. But then the cotter pins are going to slide through. There's a little hole right here on the side. It's going to slide through to prevent this from backing itself out. Makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and put some anti squeal on the back of these pads, shove them back in here, put this all back together. Everything is in here. One thing to note, don't normally let your calipers hang. We're doing this because we're putting those calipers away. If you want to buy them, please contact Albert at whatever the hell contact he has. And at, you can buy them from him for dirt cheap. At albert at albert.com. That's a... Okay. And that's not a real email, so don't email that email. Because I won't answer. Or or just hit us up in the comments if you want some baby blue yeah, calipers. If you guys if you guys want OEM brakes for real, just comment. Yeah. We'll yeah, uh, um, sell them to you on the low and on the cheap. On, on the super cheaps. But yeah. Yeah, don't normally let them hang. Uh, you don't want the lines stretched, but we're taking these lines off. And we're putting these nice stainless steel lines on. Uh, when we got these, there is a big difference from left to right, and it's the direction of these mounting tabs. I'm 95% sure they're gonna go this way on this one because the line will bolt up here. It'll wrap around and then hold. And then, uh, yeah, so we are gonna go ahead and finally make a mess and take the uh, brake line off. Yep. The inevitable part. Yeah, the part we don't want to do because it's messy. Yeah. But it's got to get done because uh, these stock brake lines, oh, that is a fun fact for you. These stock brake lines will not work with Brembo's. You cannot reuse them. You have to get something else. Yes. Like these. these are a specific conversion line for uh, non Brembo car to Brembo brakes. Yep. And so you can, if you had a 350Z that came with Brembo's, the difference between these lines and the lines that the Z1... The factory Brembo's are yeah, brackets. They're brackets. Yes, because the factory Brembo's have a hard line uh, coming yes. out of the back. Yes. Yeah, so they are different. Yeah. Uh, like I said, these are specific to convert non-Brembo to Brembo. Exactly right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start getting these in. And the front will be basically done. Yeah. Not Making good progress, yeah. Yeah, not too Hell bad. yeah. We got to eat some McDonald's. Hell yeah. We got a little something, something over here. Oh, we're not going to... We're not going to talk about them too much because we're going to do a video on them, <laughs> but we uh, just got these wheels and now we've got these wheels. Y'all think I buy too many so... cars or something. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up? What's up? So we got the Z1 stainless line in on this side. We had to take that bracket off. So this was bolted here. Off of the upper control arm. Yeah, we tried to uh, leave it on and put this little tabby here. 
back in place on it and it was just pulling on the brake line. So a little tip for you guys, make yeah. sure once you get your brake lines in that you go lock to lock with your steering wheel. Yep. Make sure that nothing is really stretching, pulling, yep. anything like that. Because that could be a really big issue. Yeah, well you, you have experience with lines being pulled and yeah. uh, MR2s and crashing. And yeah. So don't big, make sure ma issue. make sure that these have some play. We went ahead and went all the way to the left and uh, everything was still good. There was no tension on anything. Spun it all the other way. All good, no tension. So this is how it's going to be set up for us. You have a back bracket, you have your front bracket. And yeah, I believe as long as this doesn't hit the wheel, which we'll check. Next, this side is pretty much done. Yep. So, yeah, another tip for you guys. Really invest in some good flare nut wrenches. I've had like four or five different sets of really crappy ones. These Snapple ones are super sick. They're Hell amazing. yeah. Hell I've, yeah, baby. I've never stripped a fitting with these and all the other ones strip fittings. So mm. Worth it. Yep. But yeah, so new pads, Brembo on, new rotor on, new wheel hub on. Yeah, this side is looking real crispy. Yeah, it's just good. It's good. This side slaps. So but now you... we just got to do the brake line on the other side. Then we can uh, pump the pedal a little bit. At least get the pads back into place against the rotor. And then we'll be able to pop our lug nuts off. So, yep. we're going to do it. Damn! <laughs> Damn! Okay, so, um, <laughs> quick update. We got the lines in. Just an update from the last one. We moved this bracket down to the lower piece on the upper control arm just to get a little bit more clearance. We tested left to right multiple times. And then we pumped the brakes just to get the pads on the rotor. This is going to be all that we're going to do today because we're out of time. And we aren't really pressed to get this done today because this car is not being driven all the time. Yeah, it's going to literally move yep. back to its parking spot and then we'll get it bled when we bleed the rear after we swap the rear calipers. Yep. So we're going to get these new wheels on and then we'll get back to these next time.